Hello, 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 Cancers, and welcome. Welcome to your full moon eclipse reading. Um, a couple of things that I want to point out. Some of you guys um, actually saw my live reading on my Instagram feed, and I gave everybody assignments. The assignment was to take some time before the uh, full moon solar eclipse that's happening on the 21st of January of 2019 to go all the way back to August of 2016 and look at a trajectory based uh, off of the reading. If you are uh, one of the people that did see that live and did do your homework, congratulations. Um, we're now going to move forward from it. Now, those that did not get to see the live feed, I, I'm just going to give you a quick recap. Um, for cancers, pretty much you guys, what came up for you guys is that you're holding on to baggage. You're sitting in your comfort zone, okay? Um, you guys are, you guys need to move forward. This, this eclipse is asking you, to take a risk, try something new. You know, cancers. Um, again, if if you can take yourself back to August 2016 to now, okay, how much difference have you experienced? Are you becoming the person that you see yourself in the next five years? Um, there are traits, there are characteristics, there are um, habits that you either need to change or you need to acquire in order to maintain and create and become and accept and believe that you have reached the person that you want to be five years from now, okay? So that's pretty much... Um, the message really that I had for cancers. Now, it's very important. Um, one of the things that happened in your reading was that there was a, um, a connection with cancers and Aries. So um, Aries and cancers uh, had the same card. You guys had the same uh, clarifier, which was, um, I used to past life and it was the Greco Roman. So pretty much it was showed a picture of think of the ruins, um, of the Roman times. So it's pretty much, are we going to build or are we going to continue to destroy? Are we going to take what still stands, even if it may be in bad condition, even if it may look like ruins, are we going to build? Are we going to make it better? Or are we going to continue to just um, destroy it? Uh, so that was a connection that there was, that was there with, with Aries. So that's pretty much on your past life. So I'm not going to move forward. Um, I have premeditated and pre-shuffled the decks. So I'm going to now move forward. Um, very important for you guys to know, Cancers, this, um, this eclipse happening on the 21st actually starts on Sunday, January 20th, around 10.45-ish p.m. Um, and I'm talking Eastern time, okay? So every time is different depending on the time zone that you're in. So definitely do some research and check your time zone. Um, I always go to the NASA website and I, um, I go from there. So you can definitely do that. Um, what else? It starts on the 20th. Um, it goes all the way to the 21st. So you do have a window. So again, those that did not get to catch the live reading on Instagram, it's okay. Take some time today. Um, to just go back to August 2016 and then just think what has changed, what has been good, what has been bad, what are the things that you have learned, and, and see if you find any patterns, okay? Because like I said, um, 
cancers for you guys um, you have to let go you have to shed 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 um, and I need you to be able to take a risk of a sort okay so now um, I want to remind you that this this um, what some people are calling blood moon comes it's very interesting see Mars and Aries are aligned um, and by Mars and Aries aligning it aligns everybody else really awesome cool things are happening this year because a lot of planets and signs are gonna be aligned for this year um, so this first full moon uh, that turns out to be an eclipse moon um, is very important because it's um, it's a full moon calling into Leo um, and it is in the cusp it is taking place in the cusp so because it starts on January 20th technically it's still Capricorn so there's it brings Capricorn into the mix and since it ends on the 21st it brings in Aquarius which gives us a hint of air so all of this is pretty much telling us that you know with Leo it's it's asking us for what actions we need to take you know Leo is a fire sign so what actions we need to take um, then we have Capricorn asking us to ground ourselves what is it that we need to ground ourselves um, and then we have Aquarius pretty much asking us all right everything can be action and warrior and um, remember we have Mars and Aries aligned at the time of this solar eclipse so <clears throat> um, I'm sorry did I just say solar eclipse I did um, we do have Mars and Aries at the time that this eclipse is taking place so I have to always remind you that there is a lot of passion there is a lot of go 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 let's not think about it emotion uh, passion um, possibly even aggression and a lot of arguments and heated conversations those are the negative sides of things but the point is don't ever forget that okay um, and then Aquarius is it kind of comes in to also let you know like hey you still need to be happy hey you still need to let go hey you still need to be free so it gives us this really good balance all right cancers so with that said I'm going to jump in to your reading, okay? So as I mentioned, we already did your past on Instagram, and I just gave a recap. So now I'm going to move forward for this reading in the future, okay? So um, under Leo, what is it that, what, what action is it that's being asked of me? for this full moon uh, eclipse what what action is it that I need to take you have the seven of Pentacles in reverse okay Capricorn what is it that Capricorn is asking me or will be helping me the energy of Capricorn how is it gonna help me remain myself grounded as I go through the journey of this year um, from, from as of the full moon so uh, throughout the year and is giving you a king of wands what is Aquarius asking of me how can I be more playful how can I be more free how can I be more easygoing is giving you the ace of Pentacles in reverse okay now what is Mars and Aries asking of you what is um, this warrior energy where should you put all of this passion and we have the tower in reverse so I'll tell you of the back cancers remember <clears throat> you have to let go of baggage you have to get out of your comfort zone the trick for you 
cancer is it's that you cannot lose control because you're out of your comfort zone okay so your your Mars Aries vibes energies is asking you to remember to stay calm believe be open don't enter a risk don't enter a place that's not of your comfort zone uneased because how you enter is what that's what you're going to create that's what you're going to maintain at any moment of course you can reverse that but it's always harder so as long as you can always remember that you're taking these risks because it is the only way to get out of the comfort zone and by getting out of the comfort zone is the only way that you're going to be able to move forward and get different results and become the different per the not the different person but the person that you're trying to evolve into makes sense um cancers so let's go into leo um so what action is it that we need to take what action is it that we need to take cancers so it's asking you to um have the seven of pentacles in reverse i want you to see that all right seven of pentacles it's in reverse though see so the seven of pentacles right side up i will pretty much be telling you you know i need you to think things through i need you to possibly write things down maybe you should think about it some more um but again we are in mars and aries energy all right they are aligned okay they are one mars is aries aries is mars so because this is the energy that we're welcoming this full moon this solar this why do i keep saying solar eclipse lunar eclipse um that's happening we are aligned okay we are sure that this is what needs to happen this is not a well maybe well if no this is your grand finale Look at it that way, okay, Cancer? So with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, it's pretty much telling me, make sure that you get out of your comfort zone. Make sure that you move forward. Take your risk. Don't think about it too much. I know. How often do we hear that, right, Cancers? But that is what Leo is asking of you. What is Capricorn asking of you for this? Um, I was about to say solar, solar eclipse again, guys for this lunar eclipse to ground yourself remember that you are the king of wands this is your energy cancer understand again don't think things through the king of wands knows how to make things happen they know how to put fire on the people's butts they know how to um do what they need to do get what they need to get done done um they give results they give um they get things done it's just it, it it's it's like a breeze that there's no thinking there you already know this cancers you know this so let go of that baggage it no longer serves you and the baggage i'm talking about is again go back to august 2016 and do that trajectory okay so let it go what is aquarius asking of you how can you be more free how can you look into enjoying this ride you have the ace of pentacles in reverse okay so i can see you having the difficulty in what is being asked of you for this full moon eclipse happening on the 21st but you the thing is cancer you still have the ace of pentacles it's in reverse but all we got to do is turn it right side up and only you can do that change your mindset and it's a done deal look at it you have the ace of pentacles in reverse you have the tower in reverse you have the seven of pentacles in reverse you have the king of wands right side up literally just looking at this card the first thing you should be able to tell is go 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 don't think everything is going to be okay the tower is, is in reverse okay seven of pentacles don't even think things through okay just get it done just go you know what it is that you have to do all right my cancers so i'm going to um give you some clarifiers on dates 
and um, what you should focus on per element that's um, that's welcoming this uh, I'm sorry I got distracted that's welcoming this um, full moon eclipse that's happening on the 21st it's starting on the 20th remember cancer okay remember that all right I don't know why I shuffled because I had already shuffled but I'm in the moment so okay so with um, your seven of Pentacles in reverse your clarifier is confidence you understand me confidence if you practice confidence let me tell you something cancer nothing is easy in the beginning okay but if you can just constantly remind yourself no this is what i have to do i know this to be true i have to let this go i have to get into my i have to take risks i have to get out of my comfort zone eventually practice makes perfect so what you need is confidence 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 you should expect some results by may of this year okay but remember remember you cannot hide you can't go back and live in, in the past of what happened in the past bringing all of that stuff into your new beginnings it, it's that's it we're closing that chapter things are now aligned the again the minute that mars and aries align themselves we have officially have had a new beginning the universe has given us that cancer so if you decide not to go in and have a new beginning my dear you're going against the current okay now for Capricorn Capricorn again is asking you for commitment because again Capricorn is reminding you that you are the king of wands this can be done this can be done it will be done but you have to remain committed and again you have um, two fives here. So if you remain committed and confident, just keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You're going to see an outcome. You're going to see a change. You're going to see. It's almost like the universe is going to be like, hey, here's a sign that things are moving, that I hear you, that you're gonna start seeing things different, okay? Now, to be free, to be able to let go and embrace this new chapter that's being asked of you, Cancer. Um, Aquarius is asking you to negotiate. That's what's gonna bring you this Ace of Pentacles right side up, okay? And the negotiation does not have to be with anybody but yourself, my dear. Because you're going against your current. You're going against your norm. You know, cancers, it's almost like I am, um, it's almost like you, you, you're the type to sit there and say, well, you know, I have had this, 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 this happen to me. Oh my God, Cancer, like how long are you going to sing the same story? Sweetheart, you've got to move forward. You have got to move forward. Negotiate with yourself, okay? Make sure that you tell yourself, okay, I'm going to do this. I feel uncomfortable, but let me remind myself of the commitment I made on January 21st when we had the first full moon and so and here I go with the solar eclipse again cancer I don't know what it is that you're doing to me okay this has not happened to me in the other readings I just recorded um I need you to make sure that you focus on promising yourself promise yourself cancer that you're gonna get through this and this is where the negotiation comes in, okay? If you promise yourself, look, I'm going to try, try, start slow, okay? We have the rest of the year. Look at this as your New Year's resolution. 
Look at it that way, right? One of the main reasons why people fail with New Year's resolutions is because they don't, the minute they they lose pattern, the minute that, you know, life hits them or there's a change and they're not able to, you know, they lose track, they don't go back and pick up where they left off. Some people start again. Some people are like, oh, forget it. I'm just not going to do it. No, you, you have the rest of the year to do this, Cancer. Okay? So there you have it. Cancers, that is your reading for this full moon um, lunar eclipse happening starting on June. On June. Wow. On, on January 20th, ending on January 21st. And as I said, for those of you guys that have not seen my live feed, just sit down really quickly and jot down whatever comes to mind from August of 2016 to now. What baggage is it that you're still carrying? What story is it that you're still telling, that you're still living? Write these things down. And... As of January 20th at 1045 p.m., or check your time zone, when the full moon slash lunar eclipse starts happening, revisit this, read this, read this list, and start declaring all of those seeds void, inactive, um, dead done those energies are shut off think of um your electricity in your home what happens if you don't pay that bill it gets shut off right shut it off stop paying those bills let's move forward cancer okay thank you so much guys if you guys want to continue this reading if you have any questions or if you would like a personal reading from indom please uh, visit us at www.indomquest.com. You can also go to my Instagram at indomquest and you can become my friend. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get any notifications whenever I upload any videos for cancers. All right, guys, thank you. And I hope you guys enjoy and, to, and make the best out of this experience from January 20th through the 21st. Thank you.